I was in the supermarket in Cyprus and I was like, yeah! <laughs> Stang now takes a cuddle when she scores. <laughs> Hug me! Don't you just can't like each other. <laughs> He's all against each other. <laughs>
Northern Ireland on the map for little girls is a big, big thing. And, you know, England obviously went on to win it, and rightly so. I think they were the best team in the tournament. Yeah, they were, they were scarily good at times. Um, did you manage to get any games? I made it to Manchester, and I was just walking, and I look up, and I see Fernie on this massive billboard. And I'm like, I was stopped in the middle of the street, and I'm like, oh, shoot, that's so cool. I'd take a photo. I'm like, Fernie, you're here. You've made it. It was so cool to see. That, that was like, that you cool. sent us the photo, and I was like, wow, like, oh. I'm on a billboard mm -hmm. in Manchester putting Northern Ireland on the map, and that's, that's, what it, that's what it's about. Yeah, absolutely. Like you said, it's not just on an international stage. It's now putting, you know, domestic football at a different level to where it was. It was going in the right direction anyway, but the success, not just England, but yourselves. And, you know, I was, I was, I went to the Netherlands, Portugal game, I think, and there was thousands and thousands of people there. And I think a couple of years ago, you wouldn't even have probably got a thousand or 2000, you know, at a random neutral game. And you probably wouldn't have got a lot of fans coming over from different countries. And mm -hmm. it just proves that women's football is on the map and the things it's going to do for the domestic game you know, it's it's going to go tenfold and, and long may it continue. And, you know, we might not many ha have many years left, but, you know, the girls coming through. It, it's created a platform, hasn't Absolutely, it? Absolutely, yeah. It's created a big platform for the, for the young girls coming through. And I think it's only going to get better as they obviously the season opens and the home games will have, hopefully, Prenton Park and, um, can get rocking. Yeah. Don't stop, never give up, hold your head higher. I can't hear you, what? <laughs> <laughs> no way, queen of vibes. Chicken. <laughs> Horror films. Oh, no. The thing is, that. half the time it's actually real, so when people are, it's just a film, it's not. <laughs> no, it's terrifying. Why would you do it to yourself? Last time then there. once you're trying to go sleep in the dark and you're like... Mm. When, a when a stranger calls, that is awful. Oh, yeah, terrible. I used to babysit, like, when I was younger, and literally put me off. Any noise then I would hear, I'd be like, my dad's a taxi driver. I'd call them going, Dad, can you knock on the house, please, and make sure everything's all right? It's awful. Training. Come on. Oh, right along. <laughs> I mean, you get paid for this, you have to say no, yes. No, but I'm joking. In the middle. Oh. I don't mind it, but... Definitely here. Yeah. Okay, I'm here. It's not obviously never as good as a game. You get that natural adrenaline, so... Uh-huh. But me and Katie still battle like we're opponents in training, don't we? Yeah, I don't like you. Tactical fans. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Tactical. Flavoured coffees. Oh, yeah. Always. No. You're not a coffee, you're not a coffee snob, like... like <laughs> snob? <laughs> I enjoy decent coffee. To be fair, if you look on Katie's Instagram on our days off, she's always doing Tour de Liverpool on the coffee shops. Yeah. Tour de Espresso. <laughs> <laughs>first one is American food is better than English food. Hell no. American everything. No. Everything's just with sugar. It is not. Did I'd you? rather have a Sunday roast every no. night. Oh no, I don't like a roast. The food mm. there is pumped with all sorts of rubbish. That's why it produces rubbish. people like <laughs> specimens. I'm just going to be the mediator. <laughs> <laughs> Calm it down. We're not in training. Okay, well that one was a biased question. <laughs> Liverpool is the best night out. It's a good time. We don't go out, right? Liverpool's got some great no, spaces. No, to be fair, it's... It's fun. Yeah, it's, good. it's more of a, like a funny, carefree night in Liverpool, isn't it? Like, yeah, I agree. The few times I've been out, it's been good. Yeah. So I have around. no complaints. Great city. You like a bit of pop world, don't you? A bit of pop world. Never been there, actually. I walked past it the other day, but it was daylight and it was not the same. <laughs> Because we've got so many oh, Irish in good. the team, it's always that like we're going to the Irish bars or McCoo's. Right. McCoo's, yeah. isn't it? That's Irish too. Yeah. It's the best bars, isn't it? It's good. It's good. Really good bars. Bars. It's good crack. Congregate. That's what you say, right? Crack. Great crack. Yeah. Great crack. Great crack. Slanter. Yeah. Here, that's, 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 that's cheers. Yeah. Mm -mm. I'm cultured. Cultured. <laughs> <laughs> So obviously still sticking um, with the football side of things. Carla, you've been at Liverpool now for over, mm -hmm. a, year, over a year. How are you finding it? Yeah, I've loved it. Um, I think the main thing for me is like the team and how lovely the team is. I think we spoke about that before, but it makes such a difference. Um, we all know that um, and how strong we are together as a team. Like love doing things outside of football with you guys. Um, 
So yeah, I think that stands out for me a lot. Um, obviously, it was lovely to win the league. Yeah, yeah always great. Yeah. Yes, <laughs> just dropping that Woo. one in there. Yeah. If anyone didn't know, we won the league. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, and just being a part of that. Um, yeah, and really enjoying it and the city. And, you know, you can feel, like, how passionate, like, the people of are about football and mm -hmm. about the club. Um, and that kind of rubs off on us. Um, yeah. And, like, you feel that too, like, when they're when you're in the stadium and how much they want you to do well. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, nice. I've loved yeah, it. That's nice. Carla, you mentioned it there about winning the league. Mm -hmm. Obviously really really big thing for us yeah we went on the bus to other parade with the men that was amazing unbelievable oh my God. yeah literally afterwards i couldn't stop talking about how great it was I like know. everyone was asking me i was like it was amazing <laughs> <laughs> but i don't think we can do it justice oh, I so no i'm so jealous i mean you facetimed me mm -hmm. when you were singing oh to God. us and like I, cu I couldn't stop telling people about oh, that yeah oh, like it's, that's the thing i think because i think raza's hindu was meant to be on the same day yeah and I remember going to her house and her mum was on the phone at the time. And um, all I heard her mum saying was, um, Rhiannon, you need to get on that bus. You need to get on that bus. You know, if people can't come to your Hindu, then we'll change it or we'll do another one for the people that can't make it. And I was literally going to break the news to her. I was like, are you going gonna to hate us? But I, I really want to get on the bus, Razan. I'm really sorry, but I'm going to miss your Hindu. <laughs> and this conversation just come at totally the right time because I thought, please listen to your mum. Because I, I, obviously I wanted everyone on the yeah. bus. Um, and I had said to her, can you not change the day anyway? And um, she ended up changing the day, so Raza obviously come on the bus as well. And I think we can't probably do it justice mm -mm. about how good it was and the amount of people that lined the streets. It was unbelievable. And mm. we FaceTimed you when they were singing, and that was just a short, short glimpse of... That. No, I know. We were on the bus for, like, what, three hours? Yeah, and it flew by, didn't it? Yeah, it went so quick, and before you knew it, we were on the strand, and... That was just like, you couldn't take it all in. And I think obviously we had mm. videos and stuff yeah. on our phones, but until you actually watch them back and think, wow, we were a part of that. Yeah. Like, I don't think it'll ever sink in with me. I don't no, think it will. I never experienced anything like it. No. I was in the supermarket in Cyprus, <laughs> right? <laughs> and I was like, yeah! <laughs> And then because you had a mask on, oh, yeah, yeah. got a mask on, I'm like, <laughs> and everyone's <laughs> looking at us, I'm like, I couldn't care. No. I'm like, where's <laughs> your, I'm like, oh, oh, hey, no, it was, it was class and oh, I was so thankful that, yeah, yeah, you fit, like you said you were going to FaceTime mm -hmm. us, but I thought, you know, a few drinks, mm -hmm. everyone's going to oh, be lively, going to be having too much fun and then I was like, Lord, he's FaceTime, I was, oh. I was in, the, I'm in the supermarket here, oh. I was like, oh, never mind. <laughs> like, YOLO. No, hey. Um, no, it was it was class, and I'm glad, I'm glad that us as a team got to to have that opportunity yes. to experience that mm -hmm. with the fans. And um, I've spoken to so many people after that, and who saw you on the bus, mm -hmm. like saw the women's team on the bus, and just said how special it was yeah. as like as one club to do that, and you know. You weren't, we weren't part of the men's parade. We were. Yeah. We were the parade. We were, yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Alongside it as one club, and I think that um, that speaks volumes of you know the kind of connection now yeah. we, we do have uh, yeah. as the one club. Obviously, y y you can speak and you can say loads of oh yes, we are all one club, but I think that just showed it. Um, yeah, that we are. Not many teams can say they've done that. You know, no matter what cup you win yeah. or league you win. There's not many teams that have done that, and to be a part of it was was something I'll I'll never ever forget. Katie, you haven't been here as long as Carla. Uh, you joined last January, but is there anything in particular that you love about the UK that you don't really get in the US of it? I'm not a fan of it, but I like the concept of a Sunday roast. Like that just feels like a big Thanksgiving meal to me. It's way too much, but I do like it. It's kind of cool. Everyone comes together, and you like you do this like Sunday family dinner. So I wish like. It's like Thanksgiving every week. What yeah, more do you want? I know. And it's my favorite holiday. So I'm like, maybe I should just jump, jump on. <laughs> yeah, go And on. then i get my, you know, fix in. But no, it is cool. Um, I hate when I go to like a pizza place and all they have is a roast. I'm like, how do you guys do the same kind of... <laughs> you get a roast anywhere, man. Like, it doesn't matter I'm if you're at a any pub day. or a fancy restaurant. It's a roast. Mm -hmm. And I'm yeah. like, all right. And everyone just buys in. Yeah. Yeah. So it is very UK. Tradition. So this year on the show, we want to ask our guests... One question and one question only. What made you become a footballer? Carla, you want to go first? 
Well, I think I started with dancing and I soon realised that wasn't for me. I wasn't very gracious or anything. My mum was like, no. <laughs> <laughs> no. Well, I can say though, is in training, twinkle toes. I know. Oh, yeah. Twinkle yeah. toes to a head. Served you well. Maybe the two I'm weeks saying. I spent there did a little something for me. <laughs> That's <laughs> <I'll take> <laughs> <us>. <laughs> um, Yeah, and then my older brother played football. So I used to go and watch him every weekend, like, even when it was snowing, I remember one day, I don't even know how the game was on, but my dad was like, no, you're not coming today, like, I was only tiny, I was like, no, 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 please, he was like, no, oh. it's too cold, and then apparently I got my coat on, put my hood up, and just stood at the door with my football, oh. just waiting to go, oh, I obviously precious. don't remember this, I know, you so it was adorable. literally from, like, yeah, five, I was just yeah. football, 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 and, like, my family all love football, so I think... Uh, yeah, I was only ever going to... didn't have a choice. No, yeah, yeah it was only ever going to be football. Um, so, yeah, I just feel lucky that I get to do it as my full-time job now. Like, when I was younger, obviously, that wasn't a thing. Mm -hmm. um, so I was like, I think I was like, right, I'm going to be a footballer, like, in the day or whatever, and then or be a po post-woman, because I think like, <laughs> loads of them used to do that. I was like, I'll Actually, do that. I'll be a post-woman in the day, footballer in the yeah. evening. Like, that's cool, whatever yeah, I need yeah. to do. Um, so, yeah, just grateful now that we can do, do it. Yeah. Freshening, mm -hmm. so yeah. yeah, very fortunate. Stan, mm -hmm. you? Mine was similar, also family. My dad played in some old man league, and my sister and I used to always go and watch, and then she's only two years younger, so we would always spend hours training together in the mm -hmm. front yard, and that was it. Like, I just knew I wanted to play when I was young, and play with the boys, play with my sister, and there we are, yeah. Mm. Can I, sorry, well, can I just ask a question? Yeah. It's still your job, sorry. <laughs> I just wanted to know, um, was there loads of girls playing? Like, because obviously in America it's bigger, it was a lot bigger as well than it was here, like then. Was there like a lot of girls your age playing or not? Um, I think there were always like a girls league, but I think it wasn't very competitive. Mm -hmm. I think now it's blown up yeah. and there's so many girls teams mm -hmm. and they have academies and things like that, like similar to here. But no, I always played boys growing up or like a couple years up mm -hmm. because I was like, the girls I was with were just there, you know, Picking flowers, yeah. enjoying it, <laughs> and I was a little tomboy. So, oh, um, nice. yeah, mm. no, that's a good I know question. what you mean though, because yeah. even when I was growing up, oh, women's football—it's it's, always—it's bigger in America. Mm. Yeah, mm. that's all. Yeah. That's all yeah. we used to hear. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So no, it is quite interesting that you've kind of took the same steps as us mm -hmm. in, in playing with the boys before then you went in the, the girls team because I did always wonder that to be fair mm. yeah that's a good question just because we were like I was the only girl in my school that even liked football yeah wow. yeah yeah like yeah it was that it was so maybe yeah. yeah we do have a lot more yeah in terms of that yeah might as well just fall straight into it mm -hmm. new season how has pre-season went for the both of you Carla start with you first good I mean I think Obviously, we've had good results. Um, I think you can't always take loads from that in pre-season. Te like the teams change, rotate, whatever. Um, but I think we definitely can take confidence from that. And the performances that we put in, um, we've scored a lot of goals in games, um, not conceded very many goals. Mm -hmm. um, so I think it's a massive platform, yes, for us to build from. Yeah, just excited to see what the season brings. But I think, yeah, I think we all feel good about pre-season and all feel very positive about it. Yeah. Um, yeah, giving us good momentum to kick on with the season. Yes. Thing. It's been the longest preseason of my life. <laughs> I think I have gray hair now. Um, oh, me, I've um, and I, like since we've been playing games consistently, it almost feels like we're kind of started the season. Yeah, mm -hmm. since we started playing WSL clubs, but I think it was great. Like we needed to know that we could compete against teams in this league, and we've had you know four solid WSL games mm -hmm. where I think we learned that not only we can do it, but like this is how we can do it, and like yeah. we've all bought into a certain way to play. And um, obviously we brought in new people. We've all had to like adjust to make sure we all, you know, yeah, still keep buying into what worked last year, but then develop and it's been good. I feel like everyone's found their feet again and we're gelling on and off the field. And I think it's gonna be a good season. I just wish it would start already. Um, speaking of the season ahead girls, do you have any goals you set for yourself or is there something in mind that you'd like to achieve this season or have you thought about it, have you not? Um, for me, I think I obviously didn't play that many minutes last season or, yeah, as much as I would have liked, everyone would have been the, been the same. Of course. Um, so I think first and foremost for me, I just want to get as many minutes yeah. as possible and be on the pitch helping the team. Um, so that's like one of my goals. Um, and then, yeah, when that happens, just to contribute with goals and assists really, especially in the position that I play in. So, yeah, 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 yeah. That's mainly my focus for this year. Yeah, good, mate, good. I can't wait to see you score. 
Huge goals. I huge think I'll run goals. and, I'll run and celebrate oh, if you come in these slides. Uh, uh, yeah. I, yeah, I want a good Sally. I want mm -hmm. all kinds of good goals. Staying now takes a cuddle when she scores. Yeah, you've got no choice. Forced, forced. Yeah, she's got no, no choice. No, she runs, she runs over to people with and looks for a cuddle. She's mm -hmm. like, with arms. Hug me. <laughs> I've changed. <laughs> no, so, um, yeah. Oh, Carl, I can't wait. I can't wait for that day and it's, uh, it's going to be this season. So Thanks, We're manifesting it. It's happening. Yeah, yeah literally. Yeah. It's all like, I am. I've bought myself a manifestation journal. <laughs> it Have actually, you? it's a thing. I'm telling no. you. Hey. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. Yeah. You do, my you mom, Me and mum were talking about it and she's like, I think, yeah, it'd be really good for you. And I was like, yeah, you know what? Do um, it. Yeah, 100%. Exactly. No, hey, I love it. You see it, you can be it, you can do it. Exactly. Oh, oh, put it, that on a t-shirt. <laughs> yeah, well see done, Lozzy. Do, do it. it. Just do it. Sting, any goals? <laughs> Just want to score. I want to, like, you sent a video of a friend of mine who had a crazy celebration in the US. Oh, yeah. Um, Lo Labanta. She's, like, crushing it with all her little celebrations. Oh, um, and it just like brings a whole new life to the game. So I'm like, okay, I want this team to be not just like amazing on the field, but like we get the fans involved and we get like people excited and like videos going viral because they have some crazy celebration mm -hmm. afterwards. And just like be more excited when we do score. I feel like, oh, like you said, mm -hmm. typically when girls score, we all just, yay, we uh, jump up and we have a huge hug. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. like, okay, we can get more creative than this. Uh, so I want to see that kind of creative wait. stuff. I can't wait. And then this. I don't have to hug you guys. I can like, yeah. have you thought of any? Cool. Have you got any up your sleeve? You don't have to say it, but have you got any up your sleeve that you're planning? No. It's, well, it's going to be off the off cuff. Off the cuff, lad. Love, love it. Love it. We'll love talk it, about it on the bus, you know? Right, girls, so this section we are going to the fans' questions who have been sending them in over the last few days. The first question is, who inspires you the most in the squad? Go first. Tough question, though. Or whoever thinks of... Or whoever thinks I honestly of would say Roby, even though, like, she drives me up a wall. I do love her, and, like, she will be out there doing extra, and if she sees someone doing something, she's like, oh, what are you doing? Can I join? Hi. Always wants to do something. It's the last one to leave, and just... Very inspiring to see how hard she works. Definitely. Good one. Ruby's a great shout, actually. Yeah. yeah, no, that is a great shout. Everyone just brings good vibes and makes the environment good. I don't have, like, yeah, a, nice. a specific uh, person that I'm like, it's yeah. you. The squad inspires you. Yeah. Yeah, I stare at you. That is still <laughs> a very good answer. Paula, good answer. Thanks, good guys. Answer. Right, so girls, what is the best thing about playing for Liverpool? I think it's like a household name. So like even in the US, like everybody was like, wow, Liverpool, I play them on FIFA. And like mm -hmm. people who like don't follow soccer or football at all, like are in it and like love Liverpool. Mm. So nice. Cool. Yeah. I think it's like when you go out in Liverpool and you just see people walking on the street, walking around the streets, like in their Liverpool shirt and it's just Liverpool, everything everywhere. And it's like, mm -hmm. I actually represent this club. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah, it's kind of the same answer as you, but yeah, I feel like, wow, it's actually such a massive club and everyone's so passionate about the club. And obviously, yeah, to be a part of that's just amazing. We're very privileged. Yeah, no, we, are. we are very privileged yeah. to play for a club like this. Uh, next question is, what was your reaction when you found out you were going to play at the Derby at Anfield? Do you know, I was actually at the, our media day and they asked me in, in oh. the interview and I was like, well, I didn't actually know that, Ooh. but that's amazing. Yeah, um, so I was like really excited. Not trying to like control my excitement, but I didn't want to be like, uncomfortable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> so I played it cool, you know, but oh, oh, yeah, yeah, that's that's so cool. cool. <laughs> oh yeah, and feel cool. Yeah, yeah, oh, cash. Yeah. Cash. Um, I was pumped. I'm yeah. like, I don't really care so much about a derby, but like, I've heard it's a huge big deal. So it's massive to stock it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, I, I learned one day when I wore blue gloves and I got oh, mouthful. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. So I've Definitely learned blue. to like, okay, all reds, up the reds. Up but blue. like, yes. Stay. Nice. Nice. Anfield yeah. sold me. I was like, oh my God. Mm -hmm. Unreal. Unbelievable. What is your favorite coffee shop in Liverpool? Ooh. Ooh. Depends what you want for. Like, if you want just a great cup of coffee, it's going to be a place called Coffee with an I. If you want to sit for a while and like, you know, schmooze, it's going to be Ride, which is like a bike place over by the Baltic. If you want um, okay, more study experience. time, Mother Espresso, fantastic. Yeah, I'm write them all down. Yeah. Um, Root is also a new one I went to before. And then um, in Chester, what's our favorite? Chalk. Chalk. I oh, went the other day. Oh my God. Hands down. I consider that part of coffee. Liverpool. It's the best I've ever yeah. been. Nice. nice. Oh, we love food. that, don't we? Aesthetics, mm -hmm. food, coffee vibe. Yeah. It's got it all. Agree. Oh, hey. Fabulous. Hey. 
Yeah. If you didn't say it, I was going to say it too. Mm-hmm. Um, obviously, haven't had as much time to venture out so much here. Mm-hmm. Um, but I do enjoy the coffee shops on Lark Lane. I think because it's just mm-hmm. nice and you can go yeah, sit in nice. yeah, good vibes. Yeah. Yeah. Quality. Yeah. yeah. Nice. So any of them I go yeah. to. Love Lark Lane. Right, next one is, did you ever imagine growing up you'd see people wearing your names on the back of their shirts? Mm-mm. No. I still get flustered. I'm like, Do you? Yeah, it's crazy, isn't it? Yeah, like even one of our um, fans, he's just turned 21. Um, and he, he posted on his birthday, his 21st birthday, with the wear kit with my name on. Mm-hmm. And it's the first women's player name that he's got mm-hmm. on the back of his shirt. That's cool, yeah. And he was just like, when I first come to the women's games, like, you, you inspired me to, mm-hmm. to come to more. And just little things like that. Mm-hmm. I'm just like, it doesn't matter what age, like whether you're yeah. five, six, 21, 30, like, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Doesn't to matter. see your name on the back of someone's shirt, knowing you've maybe made a small difference in mm-hmm. their lives, I just, I get blown away. It's like random people, like at games, like, oh, I've got your shirt, and you're like, I think the first person mm-hmm. to get it was Rachel Ellis, who sadly oh. passed away oh, yes. in the summer. Yes. Um, and I'll never ever forget it. And she was at the corner, and she was like, look at me back, look at me back, and I was like, you know when you don't know what to say? Yeah. And I was like, I just said thank you. I literally, I remember saying thank you. She was an absolute gem. She was an she? absolute gem, and you know, it. She's, she's going to be a big, big miss this year. Yeah, we'll be playing for her when we play, no doubt, next season. Oh, definitely. So, girls, last part of the show, end of the show, show challenge. Ooh. Don't want it to end. Don't want it to end. Right, seeing as you're both going into your second season with the club, this is all about seconds. So, first question... Who scored our second goal of last season? Ooh. You weren't even here. That was a long time, time ago. Time starts now. <sighs> trying to think of our second game. We had London yeah. City and then I can't remember who played next. But you got that. Do you want the game? No, because no, it won't really help Katie Sean okay. here. Yeah, I'll well. be fair. Have you guessed? Yeah, Stan? of course. Yeah, ready? Of course Three, I am. two, one. Wrong. No, wrong. Both of us. It was. Do you want to know the game? Quickly. Yeah, and then Watford. 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 Rihanna. Mm-hmm. Yes. See? Why oh, you she was about it. But it wasn't actually that you fair on Katie. I was actually being really You know, no, you know yeah, right. she's been a good teammate. Right, girls, question two about seconds. Who had the second highest number of assists last season? Mm, it's between two. No, oh, I love it. Is it between the first and the second? No, the second and the third, I think. Oh. Ready? Three, two, one. Ooh. I was going to say Yana. Not even close. Both wrong. Mm. No, it was oh, it was between you and uh, you and Jan. Shoot, that was the person I was going to oh. say. Who was our second signing of the summer? Julian. Oh, Julie. Don't you can't like each other. <laughs> He's all against each other. Give me a second. Oh, hey. Carlos deep in thought. Sea Dog, you've got 10 seconds. Come on. Just pick a name and go for it. Oh, no, I'm going to go for it. Just go for it. Three, two, one. Ooh. Ooh. Wrong. Both wrong. <laughs> Emma was first, wasn't she? No, she was it wasn't. Ginny. Ginny. was first. Oh, it was between her and Ginny again. Right, girls, last two questions. How many players in the squad are at the club for their second spell? Just guess a number. Seven, six. Ready? Ready? Are you ready? Three, two, one. Oh, spot on. Carla Humphrey. Two yeah, points yeah, for Carla. Ah, I knew it was those two, but I thought someone, surely. Very, very good. Right, last one. Who is the second oldest in the squad? <laughs> God. Not you. Not me. Thank God it's not us. There's no need, no need to be that chirpy, oh, Carla. Spring chickens. <laughs> Carla. <laughs> not me. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? <laughs> I'm trying Ten. to think of the old, nice. old the older players. Yeah. You're trying to think of the experienced players. Seven. Six. No, you're putting me off. Hang on. Carla hasn't got it right. No. Wrong. <laughs> Wrong. Oh, it's, no, I was going to say you because I thought you were next. <laughs> no, I thought, Carla. Is it Neve oh, Yonders? I know, yeah. but then I thought it wouldn't Ten be you again. Ten points for all your second answers. And I didn't want to offend you either. <laughs> Is Nevi the oldest? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, see, I yeah. thought she no. might be older, she was second. Yes, that know. was actually me. So, out of five questions, Sting, zero. 
Well done. No. Carla, you got two because you got bonus points. Carla, four. very good. Yeah, and well, that was, that was impressive. Good. Yeah. Well, that just that wraps it up, doesn't it? Thank you for coming on. Long may the good season continue. Here's to the new season. Here, here, Thanks, here. Love the Reds. Love the Reds. Great. Thanks, girls. Yeah. Cheerio, Thanks, girls. mate.